Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make your very own outer glow. So what you want to do first, make a new composition. And then you can do 24, 30 FPS. I'll do 24 for this uh, video. And then yeah, you'll load into a new composition. Just import your clips. I'll do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm pretty stupid and I just had to delete a, l a part of my... Uh, a part of the video because I completely messed up. But yeah, guys, what you want to do is press Control Alt T on your keyboard, or just head any slow mo. It doesn't really matter. And what you want to do is go to where he pulls out a shotgun. So for me, that's right here. Put a keyframe, and then we'll go to where he shoots his shot. Put a keyframe right there, and then you want to go to the beginning. Put a keyframe. Put go like right here for example put a keyframe cut this down to size and now what you want to do is cut the clip right on the, the keyframe where he pulls out a shotgun press you on your keyboard delete the first and the last keyframe over here now you want to time remap this i guess i'll just do this on the video just so you guys can see how i time remap and then yeah you want to make a graph that looks something like this so this one goes like this and like that and then this one goes like this and like that boom just like that you want to turn on frame blending on um, both clips and this one's a bit meh okay now we can play that through oh why is it on full put that back to quarter and this is what it should look like very simple very easy um yeah and then what you want to do is cut your clip right when he hits the shot so on this keyframe and then you want to double click on the layer but you want to change this back to full double click on the layer click on this here this is the roto brush and then you want to roto brush this right here and also if the roto brush just shows up on the outline and it's not actually roto brushing the skin you want to change the composition to the frame rate of the actual clip and you can find that by going into your project again and then uh here it shows the frame rate of the actual clip i did that because i got that same glitch but it is totally fine if that happens you can just change it back later and yeah, so you just want to roto brush this clip. I'll be right back once I've done that. Okay, I just roto brushed the clip. It's like the worst roto brush ever, but this was just for reference of the actual video, so it doesn't really matter to me right now. And then what you want to do is duplicate the layer two times and then delete the roto brush off the bottom one. And then what you want to do is go to um, the bottom layer, and what you want to do is just add um, edge colorize. Edge colorize so you can just add that make it whatever color you want and you can hide the top layer here this one so you can actually see this and then change this to like something like that and i'm gonna make one that's kind of red so you never want to change this um that actual like you always want this to be black so you can yeah just a black background is always good and then you can do something like this and yeah that looks pretty good now what you want to do is add levels so yeah put that on the bottom one and you want to drag this like that and this one like that and then what you want to do is add deep glow deep glow um yeah it's a plugin it's the one of my favorite plugins it's just amazing i want to um enable this box here that little checkbox now you want to go to the bottom clip and add um half tone to it or you can add um a black you can add black and white but for this one i'm going to do a half tone build up so yeah you just want to turn that down to something like that and then uh what you want to do after you've um done this go back to that layer and now what you want to do is add turbulent displacement turbu turbulent displacement boom just like that and uh yeah you can just mess around with the settings i usually do amount at like 127 and then turn this down to something like this maybe and then you want to turn up the complexity to something like um yeah whatever you feel like and then you just want to mess with these settings because it's kind of hard to get right sometimes turn this up turn this down do whatever you feel like and then once you've done that you want to enable the top layer again and then you've got a pretty cool outer glow and then you also want to add deep glow right deep glow to this layer in the middle here just so the actual outer glow glows again and yeah you can just mess around with these settings as much as you'd like to make it more or less oh i was messing with the deep glow settings um yeah so i can turn this up here and change it 
boom and you can change the complexity to whatever you want you can make this cool like particle-ish look or you could make a more like blobs-ish look i'm gonna go with something in like the middle so like five looks pretty good and then yeah you can just play that through and it's gonna take a bit to rotor brush but that's totally fine and there you've got a you've got a pretty good outer glow right there yeah but you really want to take your time on the rotor brush because on outer glows it's very important because like it's l less important on the skin glows to have like a really really good rotor brush but um yeah but so now you want to press Control alt y on your keyboard to make an adjustment layer on top of the clip so you want to cut that down to size you want to um add blur mode curves blur mode curves boom put that on there now what you want to do is keyframe the z-dust and the rotation go to the beginning press u so you can see the keyframes drag these to the beginning now go to the middle around here now turn this up and then turn the rotation to something you'd like three is pretty good for me i don't like too much rotation and you want to go to the last and turn this back to one and this back to zero and then what you want to do after you've done that is select all the keyframes press f9 on your keyboard and you want to just press on one of these and what you want to do is zoom in a bit and then drag this one down so it's fast slow slow fast so it just look like a u or something like that and then here this one's like upwards so you want to make fast um fast slow slow fast and then it should look something like this here put this on quarter um yeah the outer glow looks really bad i just want to show the zoom so that's what it would look like um so here it should be like that and then at the end here there you can do that yeah so it should look something like that this is what we end up with a nice outer glow you can always play around with everything um yeah if you put that on full it looks pretty nice and uh yeah that's how to make an outer glow in um adobe after effects if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to drop a like and if you haven't already subs a subscription would uh, mean a lot to me and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye